Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with 12 weeks of Christmas gifts collaboration with Kim from Creations by Kimra here on the YT. Um, this is week seven. I can't believe it's week seven already. And I just wanted to show you guys, like, I'm so excited. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm so excited. Um... For what I made. Um, <clears throat> my health is getting a little better. Um, I'm just saying my mojo is coming back. Um, I'm getting back in the swing of, you know, crafting. Long hours like I used to. So I'm just like super excited. And especially this week, I'm so super, super excited. So let me show you um, what I made. No, I'm going to show you all the stuff that I use, and then I'll show you the projects that I made. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Um, if I didn't say out, the other ladies will be linked down in the description bar. Go over, show them some love, tell them I sent you. Everybody in this collaboration has been doing some wonderful projects. And um, the object for this collaboration was basically you do gifts, ideas, and then you couldn't spend over $20. But so far, I've been using my stash, what I have in my house or stuff like that. So I haven't actually went out and bought anything for this collaboration. So I'm like so excited about that too as well. So let's get into what I've used on my project. First things first. I cut into my new paper pad. Almost Chris. Oh, always Christmas. Everybody knows I'm a paper hoarder, so I use this paper pad. Um, I use the Santa paper, Santa's belt paper pad, um, six by six. Here goes the um, the um, the scraps that's left. I've also used this lightweight chipboard. Um, I use that. I've also used. These, this tissue paper. I use this Momentum ink. I use this right here as a wrapping. I use that. It's almost done. I use these two ribbons. I use a lot of stuff this week. Um, but I'm like so excited. Okay. Um, I use this stamp set that I got in the swap last year. It says to and from as a tag. I use that. I use some bling as always. I use these tags that Robin from um, Turtle Creations for you. She sent me some. She punched these out and sent them for me. So thank you, big fella. I use that. I use these bows. Sorry for the glare. For the glare. I use these gem sticker sheets that I got last year from um, from Dollar Tree. I, I use these gems that I got from the expo. Right. Um. I use this Prima doll, is which is Tasha, and I use this Prima doll. I don't know her name. Right? Okay. I also, for all those that know I love washi, I did use a lot of washi this week. I'll show you all the ones that I use. I use this Santa belt. This is from last year. I use my brand new one. This is um, that matched that paper pad. Always Christmas. Then I use this red. Then I, I use this Halloween one, but only use the black. And then I use these sprays and these um, what is this? Flowers. And I use other stuff. So I'll point it out once. Um, I'll definitely point it out once, um, once I show you my projects. I'm like so sorry about the shakiness of the camera. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is the first one I, I made last night. Right here. It's a gift box holds. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but you never, you never been so excited about a project and you just like so excited so you make a right after you make another one okay 
So this is the paper that I use. Um, let me give you an overview. What is this? An overview of what I did, right? Um, so like I said, I used the tag and that's the sticker. This is the Prima girl I use. She don't want to sit up straight now. But um, all of these are removable. These flowers, they're um, stuck with double-sided tape. She is removable. She actually slides up and down on this. So um, let me see if I can do this for you guys. Untie it so y'all can actually see what's inside. Right? So... Hopefully, I didn't tie it too tight. So, Jesus. I don't know if I can. Let me see if I can get into it. Probably I can't get into this one, but I'm going to show you. Let me tie this back because I'm going to tell you what's in the, this green one. But let me just tie this bow back. All right. It wasn't like I had it, but I'll fix it off camera. But I wanted to show you. The box because I did okay so this tier right here is washi tape this is the washi tape all of this is washi tape all of it I have on top is washi tape this is this tier right here is washi tape so um in this one right here there is um a hat in here this one is gloves and this one is socks and this is note cards in here so um I was gonna take it apart but I'm probably gonna gift this to somebody so that's why I didn't, um, you know, I'm not going to take it apart because then I probably won't get, be able to put it back. So that was the first one, right? We're going to scoot that to the side. So this is the second one. I'm like so excited. And this one is empty, so I can't open this one for you guys. So I did make the boxes um, from scratch. I didn't use no boxes. I made everything from scratch. Um, the bottom boxes are six by six by three. The top, this one right here is a um, five by five by two and a half. This one is four by four by two. And this one is three by three by one and a half. And then you is a smaller box that goes with this. It is two by two by one inch. But um, like I said, there goes the um, the bows that I use, the tag that I use. And that wrap I use, this is um from a, a one of them goodie packs last year. This is the Prima Girl. I paper pieced her. I think she came out really, really cute. And there goes the flower. And then I used some of that um elastic cording because I didn't have no black, like small black. But I thought it came out really cute. It has a little embellishment. So one thing I did was embellish this box. So it will be easier for me to show you guys you know how to go inside so let me show let me unloose this it's coming now there we go and then um the Santa belt, I wanted to put it on both sides, but I didn't have enough ribbon, so I just ran it up one side. So, um, I'm excited to show you guys. I'm, I will have a tutorial on, on my channel. I'm actually going to do that um, very, very soon. So, there will be two parts. One is constructing the boxes, and then the second part is decorating, because it takes a long... The boxes take no time, but the decorating takes a while. So let me show you, right? So I took off that, right? So this is the first box. All of them are matted at the bottom, matted at the top. These boxes are not finished inside because I didn't know what I was going to do. But you can use a 6x6. Six six. I used a 12x12 12 12 for the first one. Second one, I did use a 6x6 six six pad um, for it. So if you don't have... So these are the boxes, right? This is how the boxes is. You can actually fold these boxes down when you finish with them or however 
So that's how that is. But I didn't mat these sides yet because I don't know what paper I wanted to put. But this is how it is inside. And that's what I use the chip that that um lightweight chipboard for. But it's matted on the sides and the top and the inside. So I guess once you put your tissue paper in it, it doesn't matter because when I did that one, it didn't really matter if it was finished or not. Because you can't see the sides or anything. But you know, everybody some people have OCD. So this is the three by three one. So this is um the four by four. Like I said, the same thing inside. I just want to show you the overview of it. And then this is the 5x5 with the Sancha belts on it. Like I said, everything is matted. But what I was so excited for, look, when you don't have, when sometimes you don't have paper that you want to use, you can make your own paper with washi tape. I'm actually going to have a washi tape series on my, on my channel. But see... This, I, like I said, I embellished just the bottom box. So this is, I cut a six by six paper, no, um, five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths piece of black hard stock. And I layered, I started from here and I layered the washi tape, folded it behind. And then I did that. So this is the first one I did. And then I mimic it, mimicked it a little bit, um, here, see, and then I did it on all four sides. And what I did was um i took the ribbon and i took some i run my atg gun down because it's organza so it um actually s sits there nicely and then i did it here and then i got some scotch tape down here to actually hold really good and then um i ran it and i ran it up and i ran it here and then I, it has some double-sided tape here and here to adhere the santa belt one but i'm so excited because you can even give a gift like this you know, just that one, or if you, because I was going to um, do, when I first did the first one yesterday, I was just going to do these three boxes, but the top box was too small, so I had to do this one. So like I said, you can just do these and actually, you know, gift it to somebody else. So like I said, I'm like super excited. Um... I wish I could have got the, the ribbon off of this one because I actually decorated the tops of these. But I don't, because I'm, I'm afraid that if I take this off, the flower's going to fall off and all of that. So we're just going to leave that alone. But like I said, um, like I said, you have a tag here with elastic. So I think it came out really, oops, really, really cute. You can actually use these for, you can use them the boxes just for display. You don't have to put anything in them. And you can just sit them on your mantle or wherever for display. If you want, you can um, actually adhere these. You can catacorner these like this and like that. If you want to, that's up to you. But like I said, I was like so excited um, to make this. From start to finish, I want to say it took me four hours. The most tedious part was putting the the paper around the box like cutting them out scoring it and put it around but you can also use paint i didn't have black paint nor white paint so i just thought it give it more stability in the box so like i said it came out really really cute and it's easy just to tie your little bow here just pull it I, I, this is how i did it make sure they were here and I just tied it really tight, put my finger there so I can hold that part, right? And then pull it through, right? Wait a minute. Hold on, that one is a little twisted. It's a little twisted. But make sure you put your tag on too because this is where your tag needs to be. On this on this first one but I can you can always pull that back up right like I said pull it tight so the boxes can actually stay together so I'm super excited see 
that's not going anywhere. You see how tight that is? And then, that was the first one, right? Then we'll take these here and then we'll take this one here through the back and tie it as well. Just make sure you have both of them and you tie it. Tie it like this. Like I said, tie it really tight so the boxes won't go nowhere. So even if you don't glue them down, then you don't have to worry about it. Right? And then right put that finger down and then what I did we're gonna pull this back up on over here make that that way that could stick there and what I did I just took these three like this and made a loop right and then the same with these three over here. I just made a loop and tied a bow. And you can all, always fix it how you want to. And I kind of like the, the messy look. But then you have your little tails. And if you don't like that knot from when, when I tied it, you can just stick it under like that. And there we go. Um, I thought it came out really cute. So, um, like I said, I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys. Because a lot of people already asked. If you were in my group in Facebook, you already seen this. So, guys, with that being said, I love you for free. And there's nothing you can do about it. Until next time. Bye.